Industrial strength is back and badder than ever at Best of Show Automotive. It's no secret that I flat out love these homely early 60s Mopars with the race ready motors that you could buy off the showroom floor. This numbers matching 1 of 5 63 Dodge Polara 500 is probably the highest quality, most documented, and most historical one we've had yet. And it's black. Nasty, I'll see you in hell black. Those black flanks on this car are absolutely outstanding. I've said it a million times, if you're going to paint it black, you'd better make it perfect. They clearly spent a ton of time getting the sheet metal on this car into outstanding condition before applying that inky black paint, because there's nary a ripple or wave anywhere to be seen. Panel gaps are excellent, and the reflections in the surface are undistorted and a mile deep. This really is show-winning bodywork, and the understated body of the car is strongly emphasized by the quality of the work. That ivory-colored insert running nose to tail gives it a sleek, race-ready stance and breaks up all that black very nicely. Everything was expertly done, and although the work was done quite some time ago, it looks fresh and beautiful today, a tribute to the outstanding care this car has received. The engine compartment in this car has been fully detailed to show specs, and shows today as well as it did when it was new. The orange paint on the block is blemish-free with just the right amount of gloss. The high-capacity air cleaners are the correct satin black with yellow and red warning labels, and the Ram Charger 426 labels on the valve covers are perfect reproductions. All the hoses and clamps are correct, and the exhaust manifolds have been coated to look like new forever. There's a new red cap battery in the proper location, and a correct ignition coil mounted on the intake, too. The rest of the drivetrain consists of a rebuilt heavy-duty push-button torque flight 3-speed automatic, feeding a sure-grip rear with 391 gears. The chassis has also been fully restored and detailed, and is correct from the shock absorbers to the brakes to the gas tank. The anti-squeak springs are wrapped around the brake drums, and the factory-style H-pipe with bolt-on cutouts is in place. All the lines and hoses are, of course, new, too. The tires are white wall radials on original steel wheels with the correct hubcaps. Inside is an all-new interior that was done just a few years ago, perfectly replicating the original black and white vinyl setup. You sit on a set of new black and white seat covers over new foam for a new car feel, while the carpets and headliner are exact duplicates of the original stuff. An accessory tack and oil pressure gauge have been added under the dash, along with vintage seat belts. All the weather stripping and window felts have been replaced too, so the car seals up tight and the doors close with a solid sound. In the trunk, you'll find a correct spare, trunk mat, and jack setup. Documentation on this car is extensive. First, there's a Govier report that breaks down the equipment on the car. There's also an original Chrysler Corporation broadcast sheet and duplicate IBM punch card. The original owner's State of Nebraska title is included, along with copies of titles and purchase agreements from subsequent owners as well. There are specs on the carbur carburetors from when they were rebuilt and calibrated, a wiring diagram, and photo documentation of much of the restoration work. There are also the original's owner's manual, sales literature, music master radio, operator's manual, as well as options and accessories brochures. This car has appeared in several magazine spreads, including the March 2004 issue of Muscle Car Enthusiast. If you missed some of the other industrial strength Mopars that have come through here, including that killer red Max Wedge Belvedere we featured a few months ago, don't hesitate on this one. There's a large and enthusiastic audience for these cars, and they always generate a lot of attention. There aren't many finer examples in existence than this car, and today it is a one-of-a-kind piece that belongs in the finest collection. Call us today.